Sunday to everyone. We are live, live, live. And we're just going to give you what you're looking for. We had a lot of viewers who um, was just, you know, comments after comments on our show. It's going to be a game killer. Uh, the title of the show is Are Wigs Killing Your Healthy Hair Gang Part 2? And we want to hear from you. Is it killing your hair gang? Do you want to know some tips about wigs and weave? Or baby, we here for you. This is none other than Talk Hair to Me. I'm your host, Mrs. Angela H. Brown. I am here for you. Been in the gang for over 38 plus years. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. And I have loved the beauty industry. I've loved the uh, idea of bringing knowledge and awareness to the everyday person. For the person who cannot communicate to their hairstylist, for the person who cannot communicate to their barbers, for the person who cannot communicate even inside of themselves, um, we want to bring the healthy, the awareness for you to understand your textures and everything. So sit tight, hold tight. We have lots to do. And what? 30 minutes we have lots to do because we also have a winner of the challenge. Now, we told you we were going to announce the win winner of the not so perfect hair challenge. And we're going to get to that in, in just a second. But we're going to dive right in. And remember, you all, make your comments. We want to hear from you. Uh, we want to hear what you have to say. Uh, Tavia Hall, hi, girlfriend. How you doing? Uh, Tavia says, good evening, Mrs. Angela Hughes-Brown. Thank you so much, and good evening to you and everyone else. You all, if you're watching this, share, share the page. Let people know what's going on. Uh, and I am in Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, it's partly cloudy outside, but it's sunny inside. Uh, we also have Natasha Rice saying, hello, Angela. And how are you doing? Natasha, I hope you all are enjoying this beautiful, beautiful Sunday. Uh, as well, uh, we we're gonna we're going to announce uh, the winner, uh, but we also are letting you know you can also join our Facebook page and get the healthy hair you deserve by Moi Angela H Brown. Go over there and join our page. But we have a few questions for you uh, before you're accepted. We want to know a little bit about you as well. Now we're gonna also have, um, we, give, we do giveaways, okay? So every Sunday um, at two o'clock, uh, two o'clock central time, uh, we want you all just to set your, your phones, uh, your cell phones, your alarm clocks and everything for that. We, um, we want you to know that we will be always giving just as, a, um, as we always do a complimentary um, gift for you. And it's always our top seller, which is our elixir. Okay. So we want you to know that you can also get in on the question. Okay. We have a Facebook user that says, hello, deserve. So that's a little mystery that Facebook user uh, says, hello, deserve. Hello to you too. So thank you all for tuning in. Um, we want to, uh, there may, there will be questions. We're going to ask a question and I'm going to show you just a little quick. Well, after I say the question, then you're going to uh, be able to answer the question. So uh, we're going to dive right in because, uh, and also go up to our website at deservehealthyhair.com, okay, where you can also receive 10% off today. Uh, we have the the bundles and everything that not so perfect. Uh Hair care, we uh, just launched four new products that is taken off. We even have salon professionals saying that they want this foam made in a gallon. Okay, so it's doing everything. Uh, the new winner today will receive the foam, the gloss, the spritz, and also the elixir. Oh, can I carry all this? 
and they will receive our new smoothie moisture. All this stuff. Look at all of this by Deserve Professional Hair Care Products. All you had to do was enter. I think we had 135 people to choose from that we narrowed down, and it went off phenomenally. Okay, and it was it was it was a tough call, but yes, we were able to choose. Uh, hello. Hello, Paula Gibson. Uh, I am so glad that you joined us. I am overjoyed. And then we have Joyce Howard that says, hello, Angela. Hello, Joyce. Joyce and I, we're just going to have to meet one day because I'm she's turning to a girlfriend, okay? So, Joyce, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, yes, uh, there are many reasons why uh, people want to wear a wig or weave. Now, I wanted to... Um, give you some of those reasons why people really want to wear one. Uh, and this comes from my book, uh, How to Get the Healthy Back in Your Hair. Um, and this is from the chapter, Be Weave It or Not. Okay, so some of you have already read this. Uh, many people will want to wear a wig or weave because they, they um, the different styles is um, bonding, infusion, lace wigs, ponytails, sewing, braiding, dreads, twists, and hair clips. Okay, I just want to kind of dance with that, okay? Because that's these are all the ways that, the, the ways that people are doing it. And you know, bonding is so freaking old school, but people still bonding, okay? I just want you to bond with your man or your woman and leave that glue alone, okay? In the name of Jesus, okay? Uh, but infusion and, and lace fronts and all this stuff, and um, and we're not saying do not wear wigs or braids or anything because you got people who they may lose all of their hair, but they just get offended. We this show, we do not offend people. We help people. So the people who already watch us, they know that we don't play the offending game. OK, we try to help you give you some advice while you're wearing those things. OK, in your head, T.C., Distribution says the new products are amazing. That's my guy. That's Teddy, honey. He's in Nashville, Tennessee. So if you're looking for anybody to uh, distribute in that area or you're looking for someone to bring you the products, he's got the knowledge as an educator, as a businessman and a distributor. Thank you so much, Teddy. Also, um, now this, this is a reason. I just want to give you some reasons because I'm about to show you something that is so horrible that many of you may not even know that your coworkers are suffering from this because generally when you lose hair from wigs and weaves and braids and bonding and dreads and all these things, you tend to want to hide it. It is not something that is just, um, hey, look at my hole in my head or look at, look, look what happened over here. You really want to hide it. So what you do is you continue on the journey of wearing it because now you are license you are in prison uh to wear this so you are you're feeling like i have no choice now but with deserved professional hair care products you do have a choice you have a choice to turn things around and the best way of turning things around is to jump on it when you see the first signs of thinning now we're going to uh this is something i want you to understand thinning starts when you first see your wigs or your weaves Thinning starts where? Right there in the front. Right there in the front. It just want to take that stuff off. Now, go look at your pictures when you were in seventh grade and eighth grade, and you had all that frontal hair. You had your calyx covered. You had all that covered. And just pull your hair back now and see, are you willing to go in public that way? If you're not, let's see how Deserve Professional Care Care products can help you. But Listen and, and 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 get a free hair consultation. Sometimes we're not as open as we we should be, or open. We just in our personalities, we're not as open. But if you're at home and you start to look in the mirror and you start to see signs of thinning and balding, go back and look at those used to be pictures. Pictures when you were very proud of your hair. Pictures where your hair was kinky or straight, but you said I had some weight to my hair. I want you to go back to those used to be pictures because we can help you with our, our hair care product deserve, but also giving you tips. Tips is also a great way of, of mastering. Um, and we're going to talk about those tips. Now, 
here's some reasons why people choose to wear uh, a weave. And this may be you. Y'all let me know if it's you. You know, it doesn't matter. This is home. I feel like that we're all comfortable now. Um, so we're going to we in this together. OK, family. Uh, sometimes people want a new look. OK, some people have the loss of hair and that's tend to maybe stress. Uh, maybe you have had cancer, maybe alopecia. And there are things, reasons why, because I can hear some of you going like, well, I didn't have a choice. Well, sometimes you don't have a choice. And then you will go to a wig or weave for those reasons. Celebrity status. Now, we all see like the Beyonce's and the Diana Ross's. And um, we, we see all of these celebrities out there and they are rocking their wigs and weaves. But honey, please believe me, the Queen Latifah's and all that. They take that stuff off when they get off the road and they take that stuff off when they they do. They they're not walking around their homes uh, that way. Their personal stylists aren't following them every second trying to stitch up some. They are letting their hair breathe. Some of the celebrities, when they take out their weaves and they expose themselves during COVID-19, we noticed that a lot of celebrities took their weaves and wigs off. And they had, some of them had a lot of hair. Some of them didn't. Some of them had shaved a little bit. So we saw some of them had to, you know, shave a little bit. We don't know why you were shaving your hair off. But yet and still, some of them were shaving a little bit. And so, um, yes, Anita Mathers, uh, 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 owner of Elements of Chic Design. She's one of our educators in the Nashville. And I'm sure she would like for me to say in the Cold Springs area. She's in the upper class of Nashville, Tennessee, honey, rocking those short, cute cuts and those colors uh, that she does signature wise. And yes, facts is what we're going to give uh, to um, the our whole setting. And if you have any questions, thank you so much for uh, even allowing us to answer those questions. But sometimes it's a career change for you. OK, sometimes it's fitness. Sometimes you're working out, you trying to get that fine, sexy body or, you know, get your little buttocks and trim your waist down. And you have decided that you need that wig or weave. Also, uh, curious about how you look with long hair. And um, a lot of people don't realize that some people look better with short hair. Some people look better with long hair. Some people mid-length. So, but when you put the wig or weave on, it transforms you. And then sometimes a personality now comes out. I know when I put hair clips in every every time I'm putting hair clips in, I'm not really focused on business. I'm more into the vanity part of it. I start feeling myself. My husband files for a divorce and then he cancels and all of that. He'd be like, I don't know who she is. You know, she like, she crazy. You know, I think he's the, you know, the chauffeur or the butler. You know, I start having, I start feeling myself. Long hair tends to, you know, um, change me. So I'm going to keep it short so I can keep my marriage because I, I kind of get a little crazy sometimes. But I want you to know that when you start seeing those first signs of where you are getting hair loss, uh, to me, the safest weave out there is if you can get a sew-in. Uh, getting a sew-in will help you be able to braid the hair. And But when you're braiding the hair, try not to put too much tension on the hair. That's not what you want to do. You don't need to keep the weave in for a long extended time, but you also don't need to put the tension onto the hair. Tension and that traction is what makes the hair thin out. The type of weave that you're purchasing. I know as uh, professionals, um, uh, your client may come to you, they may bring you this, this weave, or you may be in your homes trying to put that weave on. Uh, guess what? You need to stop and you need to look at uh, what's going on. Look at your frontal area and then to see, are you pulling and tugging too much? And this is a great product right here, the Damage Reversal Elixir Oil. I'm not even going to play with you. It adds moisture, you guys, adds moisture to your hair. It will prohibit even with um, those uh, little, have you ever seen those little white little bumps that can come on your uh you, once you pull too hard, you can see that it's pulling. This product here will add moisture 
uh, to your hair, but it also will keep the um, your hair from shedding and um, your hair from those uh, um, those dandruff popping up. And also, you got to think about it. The, you get that that little grimy buildup of, of dirt, that product buildup, and that dirt that hides it. Yes, Anita. Anita says, yes, of course. We need this product here to help with our, our hair from being exposed, our hair from uh, thinning, shedding, and also uh, it will help uh, with the moisture because once you put the moisture on and you put this product on, oh my God, everything, all the guys open up, okay? Because it actually helps. So when your hairstylist or yourself or who's ever taking your weave out, it won't be like a Brillo pad. A Brillo pad tends to not have any, it's just gonna rip and that's your hair ripping and tearing, okay? And then longevity longevity of keeping the weave in because you couldn't really afford it at first or maybe it was looking so good you putting it off taking it out so how long should you have the weave in your head so how long anybody anybody so how long should you have the the weave in your head now i say that the weave needs to come out it depends on what type of weave if you're doing a sew in I just think, I, I just think two months for me. I think two months is is long enough for something foreign to be in your hair, and then you take it out and you redo it. Now that's what people may beg to differ. Okay, um, Anita says, let me see, six to eight weeks. Okay, there we go, <laughs> six to eight weeks. I agree with that. Let me tell you why. It's because it takes. It is just too long. To have that that weave in there and then the weave is like a weight so it's actually pulling and tugging your hair down pulling and tugging so we have someone at tabby hall another stylist um in the mississippi area she says one month i like your strictness girlfriend uh one month so it's four weeks so four weeks so if you have um I love the six to eight weeks. So if someone spent three to four hundred, six hundred dollars, Tavia, they are not going to say you can take my weave out in four weeks. Now they may say it, it just depends. They may say it, but I love your strictness because I'm a less and then, but I love the six to eight. But if it's the one month and it can come out, that's fabulous too. If your clients are willing to, to get that weave out, yes, but let's keep it real now. Let's keep it real. Tavia, you know those people will not let their, they're not going to let you take it out. But if they do and you have that relationship, I thank God that you do because I know that um, they are looking to keep their hair um, healthy unless they get it shampooed in between time. They better. It is not sanitary for you not to get it. Tavia said something so phenomenal, you guys. Yes, get your take her advice. She's a salon professional. Get your hair shampooed in between time. Now, I'm going to tell you, the reason why you need to get your hair shampooed in between time is because it's constantly adding some moisture to it. It's cleansing the hair. It's making sure that your hair is being cleansed. Every day, twice a day, you're just going to put this on your root. This is the damage reversal elixir oil. This is what you're going to put on your root. And when you're putting it on your root, you will. Um, we have the smoothie. We have our second shampoo with the soup smoothie moisture. We have the satin moisture shampoo. We have our silk milk restored. And let me tell you something. The silk milk restored is also great. The satin moisture and everything. Our shampoos and conditioners keeps your weave looking fresh and it detangles it. So um, we have someone in the Nashville area and in the Bartlett area um, that actually that I know of that does the weave. I have someone, her name is April uh, McLean. She's in Bartlett. She uses the shampoo and conditioner. She makes custom wigs. We also have uh Kara Hunt, she uses the shampoo and conditioner on her uh clients' weeds. 
Uh, Theodore Chisholm says, I agree with the six to eight weeks if they let the stylist maintain it in between time. Yes. If you are maintaining it, I will I will say that definitely because um, Theodore, that's exactly what the the whole deal is, is wearing a wig or weave. You do need to remove it, cleanse it and make sure that you have not abandoned your healthy hair care. Now, you also need to get treatments on your hair. We have the apple cider and everything going on. Um we need to strengthen and detoxify our scalps. Now we have Anita Matthews uh, says your hairstylist can have a visual of what's going on when you have a maintenance appointment. Also, Kyra Register is amazing. Kyra Register is in the Cool Springs uh, area in Nashville, Tennessee. And um, Kyra uh, definitely maintains all of these wigs, weaves, she is amazing. You guys, she does the treatment. So yes, if you have a maintenance, now what some people do <laughs> is actually leave the salon and then they run. But when you have a wig, this is Karis Hunt's um, work. And if you notice this particular model, that's her client rather, she's not a model. She actually um has edges so if you see the see that this person has edges don't you think that you also can have edges and the only reason why i'm going to show you some severity of uh, when someone has uh a horrible Okay. All right, I want you all to see this. Don't ask me how it turned out at around. But this is look at this ball spot right here. This is someone with severe weave damage. Now, having this severe weave damage, look at this whole area right here. As you see, I cannot, this is something that people cover. Uh, this person here was allergic to the weave glue, allergic to the weave glue. She told her stylist that she was allergic and the stylist said, well, I have something to protect you with. And they continued with using this, uh, using the weave glue. Please check as well to make sure that you are not allergic to bonding glue, weave glue, that you are not allergic to anything in the process of putting on a weave, okay? I want to make sure that you are not allergic. Now, there are some people out there to, that actually will lose their hair because of the fact that the chemicals that's in the bonding glue and you don't want to to use products once you notice that it is a situation now that person restored their hair with our product line deserve professional hair care okay they restored their hair but they got right on it and she told me she said i prayed i prayed about this whole thing and i am just you know uh i can't believe that what god did for me now, another thing is when people are actually using, um, make sure that the tools and everything that the, the way that a person that your hair is clean. Now, on the Discovery Channel, I watched years ago and I can't believe that I was watching this. When the uh, weed goes through customs, sometimes they sit on the shelf for a long time or sometimes it takes longer to get the, the weed to um, the actual customs to get it through customs. And these little micro spiders is on the track. The micro spiders are on the track. And when they're on the track, what do you think they're doing? They're eating up your scalp. They're, they're, they're nesting. They're, they're nesting and rebuilding themselves and they're on your scalp, eating up, eating up through your scalp. 
And because have you noticed that some people with wigs and we they do this right here, constantly beating the, the, the mess out of their head because they don't know what that is. That you can't see it with the human eye, but you can see it with um, a, the, a micro uh, type of, um, um, what is it? Microscope. It's the microscope that allows you to see it. They look like clear little spiders. That's what they look like, okay? And then they're just eating up your scalp. So make sure that you cleanse the hair. How many people agree with that? Make sure that you cleanse the hair before you put it on. Do you know for years people thought that the weave was clean because it came out the bag? Do you know some weave has been recycled? Some weave has been through, uh, like we said, customs. Some of it has been re-dyed. A lot of the weave, you have to make sure that, and you're putting it on your head, in your hair, your glory. At the same time, you put it right on your head and then you are uh, uh, cause, causing this, your hair to thin, to shed and break out. Tavia, thank you so much. She said, I agree. That hair needs to be cleaned. And the reason being in, get that hair over to your hairstylist or whoever is doing your weave. Once you get over, get it over there, then you need to let it dry or rest and then apply it to your hair. Anita uh, says that you can lose hair even if it's in the healthy state due to the fact if you are wanting to try weave and wear it for a short period of time. Make sure the stylist treat your hair first. True. If you want to, if you want to be in, if you so that it won't be in shock, that is so true. Because why should you treat it first? Just in case, just in case uh, you have a reaction or your hair is stressed out already, or your hair doesn't even have the elasticity. Um, wow, God, weave info. <laughs> yes, thank you, Facebook user. Yes. But if that hair is not ready for a weave, that means ready. What does ready mean? It's not strong enough. It's not, um, it hasn't been detoxed. It, it doesn't, your hair doesn't have no protein. Your hair cannot take the weight of it. Guess what? We have a problem, okay? So I, when we're talking about weave, 30 minutes is just not, it's just not enough time for us to talk about uh, the weave. We got to constantly bring this matter back is because I see a lot of damage due to weaves and wigs. And then when that person gets too impatient to let it go and treat their hair, what do they do? They turn around and they put it right back in there because they don't know what to do. They don't know what to use and they don't know who to go to and they don't know who to trust. So we all got to work together. Clients, salon professionals, everybody we've got to come together because the asians they don't care i don't I, I went to a store and this older lady said that she wanted something because she had a wig on and her hair was thinning the asian lady and i told her i have something for you i said lady you want to take a look at my dessert products i said because you sold her a two dollar and 35 cent something product that is not going to help her the lady, the Asian lady looked at me and said, it's all about the money. And she looked so silly saying that. And I was like, if African-Americans, we're the consumers that's coming in these Asian stores. Now I'm in an Asian store and he was willing to take me at, and, and, and allow my products. Now I'm not talking about every Asian store. Okay. I'm talking about anyone who is not allowing consumers to come in and get quality products. That's a sin. Now, the Facebook user says, good info. I wondered about the annoying itch and patting the head. Oh, yes, honey. The patting the head means that there is something that was already there. And it could be lack of moisture. You need this oil. <laughs> so it could be lack of moisture. But it also can be the fact that those micro bugs are in your hair. Now, Anita Matthews says, just because your hair is healthy doesn't mean that it is ready. That's why you should uh, have it treated due to the fact of going into a style so stressful. Boom. What can you say behind that? You can say nothing behind that because that's what you need uh, 
to do. Uh, here we go again, out of time, but you know I like to give away stuff, y'all. So where does, let me go over here. I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and um, while you all are typing in, um, let's, um, let's show this. Where does standing first start? I'm giving away three elixirs when you begin to wear a wig or weave. I need three people to tell me now, now, where does thinning first start when you're wearing a wig or weave? And we're going to go over just a few minutes. I have to announce the winner because we had a lot to cover. Where does, where, what do you first see shedding and thinning coming from? I see one comment coming in. We got two more to give away. Okay, product knowledge is what is needed, especially coming from a stylist product line owner. Amen, amen. Yes, okay, we have the Facebook user, which she said, Edges. Yes, you are the winner, but we're going to need you. Message me, okay? Uh, go to my page at Angela Hughes and message me with your name, your address, and everything. Tavia Hall says, Edges. Yes, we have another giveaway. Anybody want a two-ounce elixir? Okay, I'm going to ship it out to you. Um, if not, we're going to go over to our winner. Now, we have a winner. We had a challenge called um, the Not-So-Perfect <laughs> Challenge, the Not-So-Perfect Hair Challenge, and they're going to go, they're going to leave with all of these products. Okay, here is the winner of the Not So Ch Hair Challenge. Amber McCray is the winner of the Not So Perfect Hair Count Challenge. Amber, you are the winner. We want you, we want your address and everything. Uh, we want you to go live with us next week, you guys. Um, Amber is the winner. We're going to congratulate her. She gets all of our products. She gets the effective glossifier. She gets the um, the perfect performance foam wrap. She gets the style and control spritz, the, uh, the elixir oil. She also gets the smoothie moisture. She gets all of the not so perfect. We congratulate you. Uh, we will send you out your products. Okay. So Amber, if you're out there, we have, um, we have the um, Facebook user. Thank you so much. And also the Facebook uh, user, congrats, Amber. We want to congratulate her as, as well. Um, congratulations. Congratulations to you uh, so much, um, Amber. We want you. We It was 135 people, and we narrowed it down to Amber. We are so happy, okay? So, Amber, y'all, thank you all for, for tuning in and everything to the show. Um Everybody that, that tuned in. And this time we had some long professionals. Uh, Nita Matthews, Tavia Hall, Theodore Chisholm. Thank you so much. Uh, these people here are tuning in. George Howard, thank you for congratulating Amber. Everybody, thank you so much. I have one more giveaway. <laughs> but for those of you, we want to congratulate you. We want you to know we're going to probably come back because this is a this is a subject. If you want us to hit this up again, we will. So thank you for tuning in to um, uh, Talk Hair to Me. It is going to be phenomenal, you guys, as we grow into this uh, topic. And also, you can come on to our show and give us uh, anything that you would like to uh, talk about. We'll, we'll wrap it up for you and and let you know how things are going on. Enjoy your Sunday. I'm headed out in Bartlett, Tennessee, where um, uh, Angel Love Hair Salon is is having a great. Um, uh, she's she's have they're having like truck food shows and massages and all of that. So you all head out of you in the Memphis area to Bartlett. Uh, head out to Adrian Hughes, Angel, uh, Angie Caster. They are. Uh, having a great, phenomenal uh, block party. Also, Anita Matthew Matthews is another winner of our edge of, of our um, our giveaway, which is the two ounce elixir. Thank you all for tuning in. Also, my aunt Peggy Henderson is sold out on products as well. She loves it. Thank you, Tavia Hall. Thank you all, Joyce's Joyce. Uh, she said edges. I will take that giveaway. So I'm going to ship all of this out to you all. Thank you all for tuning in. 
to Let's Talk Hair.